Hi guys, EBP Man with Tablets for Me. And today I'm going to show you how to customize your Moto 360 or turn it into a high fashion designer watch. If you notice right here, I'll turn on my Moto 360 here. I have a Bell and Ross face. And this is not a, a standard face that comes with your watch. I did a video earlier this year on the Samsung phone on how to do the same thing. So in this video, you'll learn how to customize your watch and turn it into a designer watch. So out of the box, your Moto 360 may have a face like this, or maybe have one of one of the other faces that you've um, set your your watch to. So in order to be able to uh, personalize your watch, the first thing you need to do is install an application that you'll find on the Android market, and this uh, application is uh, called Facer. So you'll go into the app. Android market and you'll download this program called Facer for Android Wear. Once you install this application on your phone, it's also going to sync and install a custom face for your Moto 360. This application uh, does does cost, I think it's, it's around two dollars, but it's definitely worth it if you want to be able to personalize your uh, Moto 360. Now, once you've installed the Facer application on your phone, the next thing you want to do is find faces. So, uh, if you go into Facer, so also that FacerRepo.com, you'll be able to find this website that has several different faces that you can um, install onto your phone. Some of them are designer, some of them are just fun uh, faces that people have created. But this is where you would go um, to find faces. Uh, you could also find faces on the internet if you just, uh, in Google, type in Moto 360 and then the name of the face that you want. So if you want a Rolex face, you type in the word Rolex face and it will take you to websites where people have contributed or created these faces. Now once you have downloaded the appropriate face to your phone, uh, there'll be the next thing is to actually add it to the face or application. Let's go ahead and do that. In the face or application you're going to see uh, multiple faces that I have installed. So these are different faces and I'll go ahead and zoom into it so you can see them nicely that I have and that I like switching uh, on my Moto 360. So you'll notice that I have multiple high-end brands here that really transform uh, my watch and make it a very dressy looking watch. So how did I get all these faces loaded? As you recall we downloaded them first. So once I've downloaded them now what I do is I go and I tap this icon right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my download directory, which is where I keep my faces, and I'm going to choose one of the faces that I have here. Notice that the faces have a dot .zip next to it. Uh, if you get a download a face and you don't see it or it doesn't install, um, you could just rename the extension of that file if it has a different file name to dot .zip, and then you'll be able to see it and install it in Facer. Now, once I go to the bottom, you'll notice here that I have uh, this new face. All new faces appear at the bottom. Once I choose it, I'll be able to see what this face looks like, and I'll even see the seconds clock move. You'll notice here, let's zoom in a little bit, this specific face has the, uh, the actual date here, right? And then I actually have uh, my month here as well, so that's uh, being October. And then on the top, this is my battery level, which is close to 100%. Now, to have this face appear on my watch, I need to first, let's zoom into this, I can zoom out a little bit. I first I need to do is change the face to be a facer face. To do that, you press and hold the dial, um, and you're going to scroll down to uh, change face. Once you've chosen change face, you're going to look for something that says facer, and there's the facer one, I'll choose it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this face over here. And this is my Bell and Ross face, which is one of my favorites. I'll click on this icon. It's going to ask me, is face or currency selected? I'm going to say yes. And now what it's doing is it's pushing the face over to uh, the Moto 360. Now, if it's blank like this, don't panic because it does take a couple seconds to load. Um, and you notice that it took a second and now it's switched. So here I have that new face loaded onto the, uh, to the watch itself. And I can switch from, from face to face based on, you know, just like um, if you were changing shoes or changing your tie. If I want to have, let's say, uh, here's another real nice one. I'm going to choose uh, this Mont Blanc. I'm going to push it over. I'm going to say yes. It's going to synchronize. Remember, it may take a couple seconds to update. Uh, once I power it up, I have my old face still there, but now switched. So now look how nice that face is. Oh, let's go back. 
and you can see all the dials showing you power, showing you the, the date and the month. I can switch them pretty quickly. So if I'll go back one more time, and I'm going to choose this other one, which is uh, another one of my favorites because it's very colorful. Push it over, say yes, and I'll come over to this, push the button. It may take a second to update, so if it's not there, I'm not going to worry. So it says please wait because it was updating. And my Mont Blanc is there, but now I'll switch. Now I have a tag look. So uh, this was a quick video on how you can install uh, custom faces or designer faces to your Moto 360 and really transforming a, a what would be a geeky digital watch to a high-end designer watch. I always get questions about how do you find the tag face? How do you find the Rolex face? Can you send me the link? Um, again, guys, I advise you to just put it in Google. You'll be able to find it. Uh, there are some faces that you'll find uh, with Facer as well, and then the Facer repo is a good source, but that will at least give you the beginning of where you can find faces. If you have any other comments or questions, leave them on the YouTube channel. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.